getting started with the Novation SL Mark III. Please ensure that your SL Mark III is connected to your computer and powered on. If you're using a Mac, go to Preferences, Link MIDI. Then select the SL Mark III as a control surface and then set the input and output to be Novation SL Mark III in control. If you're using a PC, go to Option, Preferences, Link MIDI. Then select the SL Mark III as a control surface and set the input and output to be Novation SL Mark III Port 2, which is how the in control mode is displayed on PC. The SL Mark III is only available as a control surface in Ableton Live 10 and above. To use the SL Mark III to control Ableton, configure the track, sync, and remote settings that you see on screen. For more information on these settings, we've linked to Ableton's resource in the description below this video. This will help if you want to configure the SL Mark III to use with external hardware. Once you've selected the in control mode, you can launch clips from the session view, you can control transport, you can control volumes, you can control mutes, and solos. Monitoring and record arms. You can select option and then device select and you'll see all of the devices that are on that track displayed here. So I have an echo and an auto filter which I can switch between. You can then control the parameters inside these devices. Under the Options menu, you can also control pans, and you can control sends, which you can bank through using these arrows. One of the great new features in Ableton Live is Capture which allows you to capture MIDI that you've played even if you weren't recording on that MIDI track. So let's go to this drum rack, which I have a couple of hi-hat samples loaded into. Select grid to be able to play the drum rack on the pads and then play in a pattern without recording as if we were just jamming. Then you can hold down shift and press capture. This will make a new MIDI clip containing what you just played. 